So here is a follow-up video on the 73 Monte Carlo that I introduced earlier. Um, so quick background, 73 Monte. Um, it's my godfather's car. It's basically been off the road uh, for the last 20 something years. And even prior to that, it really got minimal usage since like the minute, uh, early eighties. A um, couple things I didn't disclose. So in the, in the first like intro video, I mentioned that, you know, I basically took possession of it. Uh, I think a couple of years ago, like right, right at the beginning of the pandemic. And that was kind of part of the, the plan. Um, we towed it out of his, out of his garage and brought it over because it's been sitting this whole time. So, you know, we didn't go and just try to fire up a car that's been sitting for 30 years. Uh, so what we did is we took possession of it, a couple little things that it needed. Um, actually when we were trying to get it on the, the flatbed, um, the rear brake drum was seized. So we kind of popped that off, freed everything up, put that all back together. And then the other thing was the engine, right? So, um, very quickly went through, changed fluids. I pulled the plugs out, fogged the cylinder heads to kind of get them lubricated, um, pulled the valve covers off, uh, primed the oil pump, all that sort of stuff. Also pulled the carburetor off and had it completely rebuilt. Um, I rebuilt it, bought the kit, soaked it, got it all nice and clean. Um, so that's where we got to the point where we started the car. So it's been sitting still more. Um, and I'm gonna address, I've been addressing a bunch of the cosmetic stuff with it, but a couple mechanical things as well. So like I said, um, the brakes were locked up. Uh, I was just literally going through the trunk. The trunk was full of all sorts of goodies. And, you know, and again, it's, it's, a, it's a time capsule. Uh, this doesn't have a date on it, but the car is in fact, you know, a time capsule. What do we got? Uh, 1985, Wall Street Journal. Um, oh, magazine, what kind of magazine? I just pulled this stuff all out. Uh, 19, June 1985, Car and Driver. Um, so went through, you know, it has the original rubber floor mats, the correct floor mats. Um, one thing I already did as well was uh, it was missing most of the trim rings and center caps. So I actually, this, this is kind of the condition that the center caps that it did have were in. And I actually found OEM, like, in the box. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Let me, uh, you know, actually they're right here. Um, I found original in the box uh, center caps and trim rings. Um, here are the trim rings. I mean, like I said, they they came in the box. Um, the original General Motors packaging. Um, and I installed most of them. So again, that's what the trim rings look like that were on it. The two that were on it didn't really have them. And I got nice, minty, fresh, brand new in the box uh, center caps. And then the trim ring here, which... I honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this car with all four center caps and trim rings on it. These are the polycast, uh, these are polycast turbine two wheels. So they're actually, it's a steel wheel. And this is almost like a hard plastic that's cast onto it to make it look like it's a, a cast aluminum. But again, these are original wheels. Um, and these are original trim rings and center caps. We have to replace the tires. Um, they're old, they're shot, they're dry rotted. So we will replace the tires. But from a uh, cosmetic piece, one of the biggest issues with it was the lack of the trim rings and center caps. So we are good with that. A couple other things that have been going on with it. When I finally did start it up, the exhaust was a mess, like leaking. So I replaced one of the donut gaskets coming off the driver's side manifold. But I got to do the passenger side one. Um, just look at the condition of the under the trunk here under the deck lid you yeah, know perfect you know um what else gonna do like a basic tune-up plugs i did the plugs because i was pulling them out anyway but uh converted it to a petronics um ignition getting rid of the the points and the um but i did the distributor did wires um 
so it's coming along engine wise um, i'm gonna set the timing because it's idling a little funny um go through the rest of the fluids i'm going to do another oil change and gonna work on some of the cosmetic stuff after the fact <laughs> 